From time saving to life changing, here are 12 Android tips and tricks. So we all use WhatsApp, we all scroll through its status updates, but whenever we find something interesting, say like a long passage with a good message or a particular frame of a video, we just stop there long pressing the screen with a finger. But imagine passing it on to a person near you, by the time you lift the finger off, the status just goes off. Use this tip to avoid that. Tap the screen with three fingers at the same time to pause the status and the status will remain paused unless you touch the screen again. And instead of messing up with multiple tabs on Chrome using the tab switcher every time we want to switch to another tab, you can actually swipe right on the address bar to move on to the previous tab or swipe left to move on to the next tab. This pretty much works on every Android browser based on Chrome. On the subject of swiping though, I have another one. You know how irritating it is to check emails of multiple accounts by manually selecting each account each time using a submenu? Well, there's a trick for that. You can actually swipe up and down over the account icon on the corner to quickly switch between accounts. And this feature is not just limited to Gmail, this works on a whole bunch of Google apps. So the most important as well as the most annoying thing with smartphones is notifications. May it be an urgent email or an unwanted WhatsApp message, we are forced to take the phone and check what the message is every time. Not anymore. We can set custom notification sounds for each app for each type of notifications. Say I want to get a specific alert for a specific Gmail account in my phone, then I can head to the settings, go to application manager and choose the Gmail app, go to the notification settings under that app's info and then select the type of notification which in this case is my specified Gmail account. So there I can set a custom notification sound so that I don't miss anything important. So this way whenever you get an unwanted WhatsApp message you need not even care about it but when you get a nightmare notification like an online class assignment due in 10 minutes you'll be immediately warned by the sound itself and you can complete your task on time. Dedicated to all students. And on a similar note for every messenger app like SMS, WhatsApp, Telegram you can set custom notification sounds for each individual contact. So just go to your desired messaging app, choose the desired contact and depending upon the UI and settings of the app, you'll find the custom ringtone option. By setting that, whether your crush finally texts you back or mom tells you she's almost home, you'll never miss any of those important alerts. And by the way, if you don't want to miss out cool tech videos like this, then consider hitting that subscribe button. On the subject of individual app level customization, we can restrict internet access for certain apps in our smartphone. I mean on a really deep level like Windows Firewall for Android from Wi-Fi, from SIM1 and SIM2's connection all separately for each app. So just go to network and connection settings, choose data usage settings, choose the desired app and there you can find all the options to restrict data access. For example, I have a game called Stick Cricket on my phone. It is really a boring game which can run completely offline but when my phone is connected to the internet, it automatically pops up ads. So by using this technique, I can get rid of the ads easily on that simple game. Speaking of data, under the same data usage settings, you can set a monthly data limit so that upon reaching that limit, your phone either wants you or turns off mobile data automatically. So this option is available as monthly data limit on almost every Android device, but on some phones, daily data limit option is also available, but I'm not sure if this is available on every Android devices. And you can schedule a message to be sent on a particular time instead of you waiting for the time to arrive and then manually tap send. In the messages app, instead of tapping send button, long press that send button and then select schedule send option. There you can select from one of the presets available or just set your custom date and time. And you can update or even cancel the message within that specified deadline. You can also achieve this setting in the Gmail app. In the Gmail, just tap the triple dot button near the send button and then select schedule send and just the same thing again. Whenever you find yourself busy and want to check your annoying notifications later, say from a specific app or from a specific person, you can snooze those notifications instead of dismissing them so that you can check them out later. You can either long press or slightly swipe the message to the right and then click the snooze option and select the particular time so that the messages will appear after that set time. Google Photos app provides a pretty sweet option to hide all your private photos into a separate locked folder which only you can access. To get it, go to the Libraries tab, select Utilities option and then enable that feature and move all your private photos into that locked folder. So this folder is not synced to your Google Cloud Storage, it is only available within your phone and even the photos under this locked folder is not accessible from other gallery apps. Some of you might already know that you can use your smartphone as a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse for your computer, but it usually requires a server app to be installed on the PC for the input to work. 
But using the serverless Bluetooth keyboard and mouse app, you can just install this tiny app on your smartphone and you're good to go. You can control your computer, smart TV or even another smartphone using this simple app through a simple Bluetooth connection. No servers and no hassle. You know you can control your phone with touch, with keyboard, with mouse, even with your voice. But did you know you can control your phone with your face? Yes you can. Using the EVA Facial Mouse app, you can control your phone with your face. I mean, I don't know how much helpful this is going to be for a normal healthy person, but for people with physical disabilities, I mean, this is just going to revolutionize the way they interact with smartphones without any extra expense like getting any extra gadgets or stylus. Huge respect to those people who use it and who made it. because. It is really difficult to use. This was just me trying to play one of my videos and read its description using those facial gestures. And even Google made a similar app like this called Camera Switch which uses similar gestures but it was pretty difficult to use because it used eye gestures instead of uh, normal facial movements. So I had to move eyes like this and it kind of made me dizzy. So I think this app is better in terms of usability. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if this was useful and I'm signing off.